Oh, hi there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK. Welcome to my channel. You're welcome to subscribe, like and share. Today I wanted to talk about um, the video I did earlier about the coronavirus that I was told was fake news. And because I was at work and I couldn't do the research and find out whether or not it was fake news or real news, I had to take it down. So apologies for that. But I felt it's better for me to take it down and do the research and do a, um, another um, video um, after the research is done and then um, come to my own conclusions. So what I, um, what I am a bit concerned about is that people seem to think that anyone sitting with sitting with a suit and a tie and who speaks eloquently is telling the truth as opposed to the man on the street we do not know who's telling the truth that is the first thing we have constantly been deceived by officials by government officials we're constantly being lied to how do we know that there was that, that there was no coronavirus. I mean, not just the one person. I mean, it was one. I think it was the wife of somebody who visited China, and then they reckon that they closed down the university hospital in order to sort that out. And now they're saying it's got nothing to do with the coronavirus. But how do we know? We don't know. You know, China took two weeks before they told. The World Health Organization about the out outbreak because they thought they could contain it. During that time, people were upping and leaving um, China contaminated. And why did they do that? Because they knew it would affect the economy. The same way, if it gets out that the coronavirus, albeit it might just be affecting one person, is in Jamaica, is going to affect tourism. We do not know the reason why people lie. And I'm not saying that Christopher Tufton, the health, the health minister of Jamaica, is lying. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying we shouldn't just brush off everybody else that says something about it. That's all I'm saying. Now, I'm going to replay the gentleman um, that spoke about it yesterday that I put in the video, and I'm going to put supporting information. I'm also going to put links in, which said that University um, Hospital was closed down. There was, um, it was suspected that somebody had coronavirus. They, now they're saying it could be dengue fever, but regardless, we do not know what the truth is. Why is it in their interest to tell us that somebody's got coronavirus and have the whole island go mad? I mean, we know what the out we know what the outcome would be. I mean, that guy alone. That was his response on hearing the coronavirus. Do you think the government officials want anybody to know? And that is all I'm saying. I'm just saying, you know, yes, I took it down. But, you know, because I hadn't checked it. If I had checked it, if I'd done my research, but I did it in a rush. Somebody sent it to me and I thought, oh, this is really interesting. Let me po um, post it. But had I gone through it and given it some thought, then I probably might not have taken it down. Because I still th think that a lot of that information was valid. And I can't recall that information again. Anyway. That being said, I'm going to, for those of you who didn't see the original uh, or didn't yeah, see or hear the original um, video, I'm going to play um, this audio that I received. Toronto Health Oh, no, that's not it. That's another one. I'm going to play that one afterwards. Okay. One, Mickey. Yeah, one. I respect man. This is not this thing. I think we man. We are listening loud and clear, master. There's no body. There's no visual. I'm going to the highest alert right now. I'm going to go to my own school. It's close to where I go. A university hospital, master. Then just find somebody in the hospital. It just been news break. The virus is in Jamaica. The wall up the corner off and lock down. So I try to rush through get me like a boy now. I'm not making that school tomorrow. Everybody, the whole university hospital campus, I think everything is going on a lot. <clears throat> that is one of the 
biggest thing that you make like it. Cause this is where every doctor come come train at Jamaica when they train them the University of Technology in at the hospital my friend they have just find somebody very recently travel the virus is here so trust me it has spread the Chinese them were nyam curry mangoes and roast rat rat bat soup Donkey cock and them of all of the push and the push kid in them, what they call asso. Then, if you can, yam rat bat and the deadly, what you call the snake, where they show where they eat a china, where the, the virus come from. And them know says a poisonous thing. Then, if you can, yam that, then they know soon yam a fool with our Jamaica, then I'm going to make you and tell them, no brother. Then, better go back where they come from. Because me and one man now turn up a Jamaican alone if you come back on your my people them. And yam me and my people them. And yam me woman them when we have done ya. Then I'll come back on this travel population, then better catch the flight and get back out of Jamaica. The Prime Minister and the opposition leader and the one them that was before, they need to hold accountable. They sell out Jamaica to the Chinese them. She what more Chinese them? Right? You see, the entire world is contaminated with this virus just because of what they hit. See, they know. A poor Jamaica third world country hit. My brother, Prefios. Prefios got once a day. It is unstoppable. It has spread like a wildfire. And we know how what it takes to attack. To understand if China, where you time ahead, technology, a Europe and America, if they can control it. Can you imagine poor like with Cleveland? Eh? We can't even buy medication. Hmm? What happened to we now? Pray for it. Okay. So, somebody asked me to translate that in Jamaica, you know, translate the patwa in, in the first video I did. But basically, that gentleman is just saying that he was picking up his child, I think, and, you know, he found out that the university hospital was all on closed down and um, they found somebody with the virus. Basically, that's what he's saying. And he's also talking about how the Chinese people, they eat certain rats and that are poisonous and, you know, vermin and some snake business and what else did he say i think that's the most of it and he was saying that if they can eat um animals like that that are alive they can eat human beings and he doesn't want them coming to jamaica and eating each other and stuff like that um but um i guess in any situation where they think or suspect somebody has the virus they would do the lockdown they would have all the um, systems in place to deal with it. So it doesn't mean that it actually was, we don't know if it was a corona, somebody did have the coronavirus or not. That is not clear. All I'm saying is that you don't dismiss one in favour of another because nobody's got the facts and they're not going to give us the facts. Now, I've got another audio that I want you to hear. Toronto health officials will announce the first corona case in Canada. There are now nearly 2,000 cases confirmed worldwide. 56 million people in China are under quarantine. President Xi said that China faces a grave situation as the virus transmission is accelerating. Russia has put plans in motion to evacuate Russian nationals from China. Australia and Malaysia joined the list of nations with the coronavirus. In addition to France, Pakistan, Singapore, the United States, Nepal, it's almost impossible to keep up. The U.S. and France have chartered planes to evacuate diplomats and nationals in containment zones. The director of the CDC says that she expects cases of human-to-human -human transmission in the U.S., Wuhan is building a second emergency hospital with 1,300 beds. Three doctors in Beijing who visited Wuhan are confirmed to have the virus. Beijing has sent medics and other medically trained personnel to Wuhan and other cities to help the overwhelmed hospitals. 
more than likely, the situation on the ground is a military takeover of all hospitals in Wuhan. Beijing would never send in the army to help with logistics. So why wouldn't China want to tell the world that its military has temporarily taken over hospitals in the hot zone? Well, I'll let you figure that one out. As for Wuhan, it will soon be under complete lockdown. Beginning Sunday, private vehicles are banned from the streets. To enforce that kind of a ban, you'd need more than local law enforcement. All events have been cancelled, travel into and out of the city was shut down several days ago, and the roads have been blocked with piles of sand and dirt, sealing off a city of 11 million people. At least some form of travel restriction is now in place in 18 other cities throughout China. Chris Martinson, who received his Ph.D. in toxicology from the Department of Pathology at Duke University, recently announced that the coronavirus outbreak is much more serious than health officials in the U.S. and in other countries have stated. He begins by stating, that Beijing first became aware of the virus in mid-December 2019, but didn't inform the World Health Organization until December 31st. He lists the elements that make this new coronavirus so dangerous. First, because the virus is new, people have not developed antibodies. There's no natural immunity. That's why it's sweeping through the population at such an alarming rate. Second, the virus is said to be a cross-species jump. The DNA sequencing shows that it began as a virus in bats that crossed over into snakes and then made the jump to humans. Martinson explains that this cross-species jump makes the virus especially dangerous for humans for a pandemic. The third, the coronavirus is believed to have a transmissivity rate of between 1.5 and 2.4. The fourth, the coronavirus is lethal. According to Martinson, early data shows a little over 3% of people that contract the virus will succumb to it. If it takes hold in the U.S. and is as transmissible as the 1919 Spanish flu, 16 million people in the United States will become critically ill, with another 2 to 3 million succumbing to it. The fifth is the latency window of this virus. It's between 9 to 14 days. This means when someone contracts this virus, they won't feel any symptoms. They won't feel sick from between 9 to 14 days after contracting it. During that time, they're infecting other people. Martinson says that the doctors know this, that the World Health Organization knows this, and so does the CDC, and all health specialists around the world are aware of the coronavirus latency period. The reasonable response, Martinson insists, should be no travel. But banning travel would have a negative impact on the global economy. This is why the World Health Organization and the CDC have not taken the necessary steps to keep the public safe. Instead, they're lying to the public when they state that the airport fever scanners are keeping the public safe. Martinson says that this measure is completely ineffective, and the health authorities know it, and they're lying to the public. Additionally, the virus can be transmitted through the eyes as well as the mouth and the nose. Eye protection is crucial. Because this coronavirus is non-enveloped, it can live up to five days on surfaces. Please prepare accordingly. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Okay, so let me show you... Um, I hope you can see it. This is the Chinese eating the live vermin. Ah, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
xuống đéo má như bồ tát nào bồ tát bỏ miếng bà nó mẹ ơi bỏ vô đi đéo mà bỏ chưa bò mất bỏ miếng chục ấy thôi rồi miếng chục này ha miếng chục lông sao ăn má cái món này hơi đắng à đéo má ăn được bỏ đủ mẹ năm bảy ngàn con ít đâu đủ mấy ông cũng kẻ bò nó đéo má mà chừng chết này nè nhỏ ăn được nữa không bỏ gì cá mà bỏ dần vũ ăn mày mày bỏ vô gonna show you something else this is the Can you see it? I don't think you can see it. Let's see if I turn off the light. Doesn't really make much difference, does it? No, you can't see that. So I'll just leave that. But anyway, that's another picture of the bat. And they've got all sorts of them eating it. But yeah, I just wanted, there was one video here though, um, let me see what that one is. It's supposed to do with the same thing, I just want to make sure that you're having all the information. Oh, this is in the market. Oh, you can't really see it, can you? Oh, I need it. Uh. You've got enough. You've got enough information there. Um, what else did I want to say? Um, yeah, I just wanted to let you. Oh, there's this one about the um, the Lysol tin. You know that disinfectant spray. Somebody sent me this, and you've got to see this because it just shows that this coronavirus isn't new. So I'm going to show you that. And this is why I'm saying to you guys that it's not everything you hear you can believe. Okay, so. Okay, it's your boy Super Mali. This is a Lysol spray made in the USA. Okay, it's almost done. So it's been around for a while. And they have a list of um, things that they say it prevents. You know, you use it to kill germs and so on to prevent the following list. And among that list, what do you see here? Human coronavirus. So this hype about coronavirus, like it's something new that we never heard of before, that was just created in China and is coming to America. No, America, the USA, okay? was fully aware of this virus years ago okay so don't believe the hype okay i'm not sure what we're supposed to be distracted from with all this i guess we will find out eventually just as we found out that ooh, ebola was just a prank have a good afternoon <laughs> okay so we know that it's been out for it hasn't just come out that's why i said you know i'm sure it's got something to do with germ warfare I still believe um, because China is a superpower, they've had to find a way to stop them, and I believe that is why they've been targeted. But I don't, th I don't, I think they thought it would be contained in China, and it hasn't been contained. People have got out, and it's because of that latency period. And the thing is, by the time they closed down Wuhan, um, apparently so many people had left the country anyway. So that's why it's spreading all over the place because of a latency period of nearly two weeks, that is quite long to be carrying that virus and then you're on the plane with it and goodness knows what else, touching people with it. And that's why hygiene is imperative. Doors, handles, wallets, phones, you have to be really vigilant with your cleanliness, especially when you're going into public places. I don't know if you can still get the face masks. I heard somewhere that they're sold out, but I'm sure you must be able to get them from somewhere. But anyway, and people are probably selling them, uh, buying them by the bulk so they can sell them um, double the price. Who knows? It's a, it's a reason to exploit vulnerable people. But all I'm saying is that we do not know what the truth is. Um, what else did I want to say? Um, yeah, I do appreciate that my role as 
an informer, not an informer, but somebody who informs, um, does carry with it great responsibility, and I appreciate that. And some of the times I really can only go on my gut instinct, and I try to get some supportive information, some information that supports those instincts and the information I get. I'm not already, I'm not always um, right. Because remember when I did that video about that um, that ship, the comfort ship that they said was burnt to the ground, never did hear anything more about that. I don't know if that was fake news or real news, but never heard anything. So we do not know. But all I'm saying is don't dismiss it. Um, what else have I got to tell you? Have I got anybody, anything here that's really... Okay, Jamaica says um, they have su sufficient infrastructure, so they're reassuring Jamaicans that they don't have to worry. This is um, Christopher Tufton, Dr. Christopher Tufton, and he said that is why they've been able to prevent the virus from entering its shores. I don't see how you can do that, though. You can only do that with intelligence. And the thing is, if somebody's coming... Um, like I said, if somebody has arrived during the latency period, and this has been going on since December, because remember, China um, knew about it from the 15th of December. How long was it in China before then? It could have been in China two weeks before then, for all we know, or even longer. So are you telling me that you know that anybody from November, October, well, I think from November, October, they would have started seeing, seeing symptoms. But anybody from the beginning of November could have travelled and gone wherever with the coronavirus. So I don't see how you can say you can contain it, something like that. And I'm not trying to frighten anybody. I'm just trying to be realistic. Anyway, um, apparently, Jamaica says they all, well, I shouldn't say Jamaica, I should say um, Dr. Tufton says Jamaica says they've got areas to isolate people, they've got logistic support to move people from the port to the facility where they have isolation areas in place. Um, they also, even though they haven't got adequate trained staff at the airports, they feel as though they can do better and they are going to try and improve that but they feel as though they've got enough apparently they've brought back um, nurses from the uk i think you'll remember last year i did a video they were doing this trial period where they were bringing nurses over um, to get experience in the uk and it looks like that bilateral agreement is over so nurses have gone back to jamaica and their respective countries um, they said they are tracking coronavirus and it's in 10 countries at the moment but Jamaica is meant to be in a good place in terms of preparedness. And apparently because they've got experience with yellow fever and malaria, they feel as though they've got experience with this. But remember, this is a contrived virus. This is a, a, a virus that has been created. It's not like malaria and yellow fever. This is a genetic, you know, they've either put the pathogens or the toxins in the air. Or they've, whatever they've done. I, we don't know what they've done. We don't know what it is. Whatever it is, it ain't normal. And it definitely isn't fear-mongering because Chinese, China wouldn't put themselves at risk like that. Because can you imagine the effect it's got on their economy? Because they can't even get in or out of the country. They're actually isolating them. So all those deals. And the thing is, they were a threat because they've been doing that Belt and Road Initiative in so many countries. And they have been so powerful. How do we know this isn't a way to stop them? Because who's going to want to trade with China at the moment? Who's going to want to visit China at the moment? We've got 18 Jamaicans in China at the moment, teachers and students. Don't know how they're going to get out if they're not allowing people in and out of the country in certain cities. 18 cities, I think they said. I just hope they get out. Um, let me see what else have I got here. Hmm. 
Oh, I've got a lot of stuff here, but some of it's not really relevant. Um, I think I've really said most of the stuff, actually. Like I said, we've seen some um, videos of some Chinese eating live rats and bats and laughing while they're doing it, which they claim is a contributory factor eating those um, that vermin. But I don't understand why they'd get a kick out of eating live bats. Oh. I wonder if it's to test their resilience. Oh, I, 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 I just don't get it. I mean, they're nasty. Why would you put that in your stomach? So are they violating the rule of burnt sacrifice because meat is supposed to be cooked well? Anyway, a Canadian Department of Health bulletin that says um, the upper respiratory infection affecting China at present is quite serious. The virus causing it is very potent and is resistant to existing antibiotics. Virus is not a bacterial infection, hence it cannot be treated with antibiotics. The prevention method now is to keep your throat moist do not let your throat dry up. Do not hold your thirst because once your membrane in your throat is dried, the virus will invade into your body within 10 minutes. Drink 5 to 80 cc warm water, 30 to 50 cc for children, according to age. Every time you feel your throat is dry, do not wait. Just keep water at hand. Do not drink plenty of water, it suggests. Um, just enough just sip it throughout the day to keep your throat moist um, till the end of march do not go to crowded places where masks are needed especially in trains or public transportations this was an alert that went out in canada this is the canadian department of health bulletin but we can learn from it okay it's a it's applicable to canada but and canadians but we if we know what to do um, in any other country, this is useful information. So always have water on standby. Um, the symptoms, oh, avoid fried and spicy food and load up on vitamin C, it says. The symptoms de description are repeated high fever, prolonged coughing after a fever. Children are more prone. Adults usually feel uneasy, headache and mainly respiratory related illness. The illness is highly contagious. And they're saying, let's pray and wait for further notice about the infection. So all I can say, guys, um, is be vigilant where you're putting your hands, what you're touching, who you're touching, who you're going near, um, until we are sure that it's fully contained and, and our people are safe. And that's all I can say for you, peeps. Bye-bye.